पश्मीना नेचुरली पी एन जी ज्वेलर्स The Indian Penal Code came into force on January 1st, 1862 during the British period. After this, amendments were made it in from time to time. Pakistan and Bangladesh have also adopted the Indian Penal Code. The IPC came into existence in 1860 on the recommendation of the first law commission of British India. However, three laws made during the British era have now expired. President Draupadi Murmu has approved all three new criminal bills, after which The Indian Penal Code 1860 will now be known as Indian Judicial Code 2023. The Code of Criminal Procedure 1898 will now be known as Indian Civil Protection Code 2023 and the Indian Evidence Act 1872 will now be known as Indian Evidence Act 2020. but only 358 sections are left in the Indian Judicial Code now 20 new offences have also been included in the amended law after the dissolution of british east india company it was announced on january 1st 1877 that india had come under the rule of queen victoria and queen victoria is now the queen or head of state of india queen victoria was given the title of kaiser e hind that is Queen of India in Coronation Park Delhi. The British government ruled India from 1757 to 1947. British rule in India began after the Battle of Plassey in 1757. After the battle, the East India Company established a monopoly on trade with India with the help of a system of finance and revenue. Money order service started in the country on January 1st, 1880. This service continued for 135 years. Today, money transactions may have become very easy through UPI, but at one time in some villages, it may be Raju's elderly mother, Mangru's older father, or household ration, children's school dress, medicine expenses, or Lala's loan. Everything was fulfilled with the help of money orders. Through money orders. Any person could go to the nearest office, deposit money, pay the fee and send the money order to his home or the address where he had to send the money. The money given by him was deposited in the postal department and when the paper money order reached his address, the postman would give the money to the person concerned in cash. In the 19th century, this service was no less than a revolution. The Republic of China was established on January 1, 1912. On this day the Republic of China was established with the fall of feudal monarchy Qin dynasty. The founder of the Republic of China was Sun Yat-sen. The current president of China is Xi Jinping succeeding Hu Jintao. Your Pashmina naturally. Ceasefire was declared in Jammu and Kashmir on January 1st 1949. Due to this ceasefire a large part of Jammu Kashmir came under the illegal occupation of Pakistan. There was no attempt to bring it back during Nehru period. However later on the first serious attempt for this was seen on 22nd February 1994 under the Narsimha Rao government. After that Modi government removed article 370 on 5th August. Now there is only one question left between India and Pakistan and that is return of POJK whose return is the resolve of the whole of India. On January 1st 1973 General Sam Manik Shaw was made the country's first field marshal. General Sam Manik Shaw is also known as Sam Bahadur. Under his leadership India defeated Pakistan in 1971 war. On December 3rd 1971 Pakistani army attacked India. India responded to the Pakistani attack in such a way that within 13 days the army laid down its arms and more than 90,000 soldiers of Pakistan surrendered. It is believed that this was the largest Number of soldiers laying down their arms in any war. Pakistan suffered heavy losses in 1971 war, and a new country, Bangladesh, was born. The credit for this memorable victory of the Indian Army goes to Sam Manik Shaw. The World Trade Organization came into existence on January 1st, 1995. The World Trade Organization sets the rules for world trade. This organization was established in 1995 to replace the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade created after World War II. At present, it has 164 members. All decisions are taken unanimously. Its headquarters is in Geneva. Calcutta was officially renamed Kolkata on January 1st 2001. Kolkata is also called the city of joy. It is one of the largest cities in India. Famous French writer Dominique La Paire first gave Kolkata the nickname City of Joy in his book. PNG Jewelers
On January 1st, 1971, Jyotiraditya Sindhya, a union minister from a royal family, was born in Mumbai. Jyotiraditya Sindhya is the son of Madhav Rao Sindhya. After the death of his father, Jyotiraditya Sindhya began his career in politics from Congress. But in 2020, he brought about the biggest change of power in the politics of Madhya Pradesh, which got recorded in the political history of state. After joining BJP, Sindhya's stature is continuously increasing. Hindu Revolution Day is celebrated on January 1st. On this day in year 1670, Aurangzeb got the brave Gokula Jat killed. His body parts were chopped off for not accepting Islam. After Maharana Pratap and Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, Veer Gokula Jat had shaken the power of Aurangzeb. To deal with Veer Gokula Jat, Aurangzeb himself had to come to Mathura from Delhi. There was a battle of Tilpat between Mughal army and the Jats, which lasted for three days. Historians believe that Gokula Jat was the descendant of Maharaja Surajmal. Gokula Jat had sacrificed his life to protect Hindu religion five years before Guru Tegh Bahadur.